Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Another important thing to make sure that you have turned on when working with Word documents is check spelling as you type. This is a super helpful option that really keeps a check on your spelling as you're working through your documents. If it finds that you've spelt a word wrong, or even if you have a grammatical error, it's going to flag it to you immediately so that you can correct it. So if we're correcting all of our errors as we're working through our document, it really diminishes the need to do a blanket spell check at the end of the document. Now, I would always recommend that you do do a final spell check before you send this document off to someone important, but you'll find that it's a lot quicker if you've already been checking your spelling and your grammar as you've been typing the document. Now, check spelling as you type is another one of those little options that we need to toggle on or toggle off depending on if we want to use it. So let me first show you a little example of how spelling and grammar flags in Word. Now, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm simply going to delete out all of this junk text that I added in the previous lesson. So a couple of little shortcuts coming up here to delete all of this text. I just need to make sure I'm clicked somewhere in this document. I can press control A, which is going to select all of the text, and then I can simply press the delete key. So now I'm going to type a sentence, but I'm going to make a grammatical error and also a spelling mistake. Now, notice what happens now that I've typed that sentence. I've typed in Word, we can use an template to create an document. So that's not a particularly great sentence, but it is an accurate representation of the types of words that we can type if we're typing really fast. Now, notice what's going on here. Where we have the spelling mistakes, those are underlined and automatically flagged to me with a red squiggly underline. Now, notice what Word's done here. It's flagged not only the spelling mistake, but also the grammatical errors. So spelling mistakes are going to appear with a red squiggly line underneath them, and your grammatical errors are going to appear with a blue double underline. And the cool thing about this is that we have the option to correct these on the fly as we're working with the document. So what I can do here is where we have an, which is a grammatical error, I can right click my mouse and it's going to give me a choice at the top here of what this word should be. And yes, it should be a. In Word, we can use a template. So now I need to correct the spelling mistake. We can right click. I'm getting my choices at the top here and I'm going to select template. And finally, we have another spelling error just here. Let's right click. And yes, this should be two. And now that I've corrected those and Word has this sentence in context in its brain, it's also picked up that the an is a grammatical error. And again, that is correct. It should be a. So let's right click and choose a from the list. Now, if you go through and check your spelling as you type, when you get to the end of your document, you can still run a blanket spell check. And in fact, you can run a spell check at any point. So let's just take a quick look at how we would do that. There is a shortcut key to invoke spell check, and that is F7. Notice that it's come up spelling and grammar check is complete. Now we're going to do this a bit later on with another document so you can see how you can work with the internal dictionary. But also remember that you can find your spelling options on the review tab as well in the proofing group. So if we click spelling and grammar, that's basically the same as pressing the F7 key. Because I have no spelling mistakes because I've been checking as I've typed, I'm just getting a message saying that the check is complete. Now, if you find that when you're working and typing text into your document, it's not flagging up any spelling errors or grammatical errors, it might be that you don't have check spelling as you type turned on your word options. So let's jump across to file down to options. And this time we want to go to the proofing page. And right at the bottom here, this is the option you're looking for check spelling as you type and also mark grammar errors as you type. And I also like to have frequently confused words turned on and also check grammar with spelling as well. So in general, I'll have these four turned on. 
what you'll probably find if it's not picking it up, that this option has been deselected. So make sure you have a tick in that box, click on OK, and then you can correct your errors as you go. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.